My God. <laughs> Guys. I am speechless. Greetings, internet. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're doing another vlog. Every single weekend I go out in New York City, I am just inspired to buy some more fun going out clothes because I feel like I, you know, I have my daytime clothes kind of nailed down, my workout clothes nailed down, but when it comes to clothes that I wear out on the town, you know, I feel like I need a little help. So I did some shopping. White Box Boutique hooked me up and sent me some stuff. The stuff that I'm gonna show you guys screams Ask me where my outfit is from. Like, I dare you to ask me where my outfit is from. Because honestly, I am one of those girls in the bathroom line who's always like, hey, where'd you get your shirt from? Like, I always am one of those girls. And it's kind of, it's my turn for someone to ask me where my shirt is from. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna get into it in a second. Before I do, I wanna tell you guys about this awesome holiday giveaway that White Box is doing. They're actually giving away a Range Rover, guys. A Range Rover and $1,000 worth of clothes. So definitely check out the link in the description box below to enter. Okay guys, so the jeans first. These are White Fox denim. Doing a little 360 for you guys. Juicy, okay. Love, love, love these jeans. I'm so, guys, I have to say, I never know what to do with myself in try on videos. Like my poses, can we just laugh together at my poses in these videos? I'm just like, what do I do with myself? I don't know. I rarely feel awkward on camera because I've been doing this for so long, but when it comes to try on hauls, I just never know what to do with myself. So I'm wearing a size large in these jeans. And I have to say they really fit very nicely in all the right places. Plus they have a nice little slit at the ankle so you can really show off your nice shoes and whatnot. Very into these. Then obviously this top. I can't wait to wear this out on a night out. Maybe I'll wear it tonight and like make a night out of it. It's like a Wednesday, but <laughs> maybe I can make something happen. I don't know. I'll be like, guys, we're going out. You ever get a good top in the mail and you're like, guys, we're going out because I need to take this out for a spin. Mama just got a nice new top and she's gotta hit the town with it. So this top is a size medium and it's actually really comfortable. The wiring in it keeps it nice and structured, but it's not like digging into my skin. Holy heck. Okay, guys, <laughs> I'm speechless, this top. So the material on this is actually like kind of thick. So it really does keep everything where it needs to be and doesn't feel like it's gonna go anywhere. But wow, I am extremely into this. This is the ultimate New York City going out top. I'm just gonna say it now, wow. So long sleeves, it's good for the winter. Looks normal from the back, right? Like you're waiting in line at a bar. I look like I'm wearing just a normal top. And then, <laughs> wait for it. <laughs> oh my God. Add to cart, please. This top, oh my gosh. Okay, so next up we have a very similar top to the first one I showed, but I will say a little pro tip for New York. It tends to get a little bit hot inside of the bars I found or inside of like the restaurants you're in. So that's why I like wearing a short sleeved or no sleeved top with a jacket over top. So you can kind of have the option to shed a layer if you need to and you're not just dying of heat if you are hot. So I like this jacket from White Fox. I love the faux fur, faux leather combo here, the black and white and the silver detailing up here. I'd probably wear this with like black leather pants or jeans to keep it a bit more casual maybe, but if I really wanna like step out and have a look, I'd wear this with leather pants. Okay, so next we have this black slouchy sweater. I'm gonna show you guys the knitting detail. It's so nicely made, very, very comfy and warm. It would be a great layering piece for the winter and the colder months, very into it. I just love how effortlessly slouchy it looks, but I would even wear this honestly to like, a boozy brunch when it's colder and wear some like tight pants or something. <laughs> you know, I like to balance. If I'm wearing like a slouchy sweater, I'll wear like some hot pants. If I'm wearing some like comfy pants, I wear like a hot top, you know? We just try to like balance. I like balance in my life, you know? It also like isn't super, super long in the back and it's just perfect, honestly. It's gonna be one of my favorite basics. Okay, so next up we have this bodysuit. I would say this is kind of a nutmeg sort of color. It's really nice with my hair color, honestly. My shorter hair, it looks really nice. Really into this. This would also be a really good layering piece. You could even wear this under a dress 
that you would probably reserve for like the warmer months. You can put a dress over top and layer it. So this bodysuit is definitely going to be one of my winter staples. It also has a very comfortable crotch area, <laughs> TMI, but you know how some bodysuits can really just like irritate that area and it's just not even worth wearing them. This one is very comfortable. Okay guys, so this is a dress. I'm very into this one too, wow. It's a very thick material, so it just feels very comfortable on. This side has no slit, and then this side has a slit. It's just like perfect. You can wear this with a leather jacket or some sort of like fun long coat and really just knock the socks off of everybody in New York if you are here or wherever you are, whatever city you're in, whatever state you're in, whatever country you're in. I am just working on some stuff as usual, always just working on something. So I'm going to get this stuff out the door and then I'm quite literally getting myself out the door. I'm gonna pack up some stuff and go to a hotel in Williamsburg. So Colby, my friend Colby and I, you guys know Colby at this point, we are going to a staycation tonight because, you know, I think it's a really beautiful thing when you get close with a friend and you decide to go to a hotel in your city or state and just like get out of your apartment but go together because obviously I live alone so it's very special to have like a night with a friend, maybe not a boyfriend, but a friend, it's so special. So we're gonna do a little night of pampering in a hotel in Williamsburg. We're gonna get a nice dinner. We're gonna watch Sex in the City because the reboot just came out today. So I've been waiting to watch it until I'm with her so we can watch it together and like comment on it because I thought it was sad that I'd be watching it by myself. So we kind of planned this little night around Sex in the City, oddly enough. So we're gonna do that and I'm very excited. I just need to get some work done. So our check-in at the hotel isn't until I think three. I'll probably make it over there around like 3.30 and then do some more work from the room. Staycations I always thought were like kind of overrated because I do like sleeping in my own bed, but I've recently decided that I really love them. So this is your sign to plan a staycation with your BFF and just have a nice little relaxing evening. Colby has been texting me all day about how excited she is about it and I am also likewise very excited about it. We're very in need of just chill friend time we're not going out we're just chilling just chilling for the sake of chilling just checking some things off my to-do list you guys know i have my planner pads can you even see them my planner pads that i use to organize my day so we are checked in here at the hoxton williamsburg i love any opportunity i get to come to williamsburg because i don't come over here very often and a staycation is the perfect opportunity and this hotel it's vibey, but it also has a really awesome restaurant downstairs that I've just decided Colby and I have to go to. So we're gonna go to that. After that, we're gonna come back to the room, which is so cute. I'm gonna show you guys a full tour in a second, but we're gonna come back and watch Sex in the City reboot. Very excited. We're gonna get some snacks maybe, maybe some like desserts delivered up here or something. It's gonna be a cute little staycation. So let me show you around. So nice big king size bed. This is beautiful. So this is the bathroom. Look at the shower. Wow. I also really love this marble. Like this is gonna be beautiful for a nice little mirror selfie or something. I'm really excited for Colby to get here. It's gonna be so cute. I'm glad you guys are here for the experience. Okay, we're back in the room. We're about to do something very important and very exciting. We've been holding out <laughs> for each other. We're waiting to watch. And just like that, Sex and the City reboot. We're about to watch it. We're comfortable in bed now. The TV, unfortunately, does not have like smart capabilities. Yeah. So we have to watch it on the computer, but it's okay. It's wholesome, it's cute. We're in our pajamas. It's gonna be a great experience. Good morning, everyone. 
We had a great night's sleep. We're now gonna head downstairs and get some coffee. It's a must this morning. Oh, I literally can't even see you. Oh, the light. So <laughs> bad, but... I can't open the blinds. Yes. Good morning, Brooklyn. Good morning, Williamsburg. We actually got a good view. That's pretty. Wow. Looks different in the daytime. Yeah. It's like some nice buildings and then <laughs> whatever this is. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna get some coffee. Cheers. Such a beautiful place. Colby and I were just talking about how we want to redesign our apartments now. Cozy. So cozy. I know, this warm. hotel is just like beautiful. Colby said that the first thing she notices when she walks into a room is the lights. I love light pictures. It's weird. <laughs> it's a weird thing. I don't think it's weird. I think it's. I think I love those and I like that.